You'll always remember this as the day that you set sail with Captain Jack Sparrow. So, I, I guess for, for you guys, there's still a few questions. I mean, lots of it's going to be game. what's in the game, and we'll find that out, out eventually. But, but I think there's still a little bit uh, unknown about the launch. So, there's, there's a few different SKUs, and, and they've been mentioned here and there. Um, I just wondering if maybe, so we know about a Disney, a Disney-specific SKU, right? That's a toy box? Disney Starter Pack. Thanks, Disney Starter Pack. Taylor, it's again. Yeah. Um, I think we make the formal announcement next week, and I'm not sure when this video is running, but it might be next week. It might be in the future right now. <laughs> so if we are in the future, we probably will have at this point announced our um, Disney Infinity Toy Box Starter Pack, or as uh, uh, accurately reported, it was a Disney Original Starter Pack, which is not what it is. It's the Disney Infinity Toy Box Starter Pack. Okay. Um, so that actually is going to come out, uh, I believe it's November 4th. That will contain Merida and Stitch, as well as a uh, tower defense game uh, that stitches Tropical Rescue. Um, it's kind of the Disney side of the uh, uh, the assault on Asgard. Okay. And then we've got the uh, Brave Forest Siege, which is uh, a dungeon crawler, and that's kind of the Disney side of the Escape the Kill that we see inside the Marvel Starter Pack. Okay. So that particular version of Disney Infinity. Um, it's just the Toy Box 2.0 software, those two characters, and those two Toy Box games. Okay. Um, and again, that will be in November. So we're going to have the Marvel content come out in September so we can let all the Marvel fans in and all the big Disney Infinity fans in early in September, let that content breathe, and then right around the, whole, uh, the holidays um, for $59.99, so okay. a cheap price point because it doesn't come with the uh, it doesn't come with the playset. In the case of Disney and Fame Marvel Superheroes, it's the Avengers playset. Right. Um, so this particular Disney uh, starter pack, this toy box starter pack, just come with those two characters, the toy box software and two toy box games. Does it come with the uh, base? Oh yes. Okay. Come with the base. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so does that lend to the idea of the pyramid disc and? Uh, the Avengers playset, since it's its own starter pack, are those going to be available separately as well? That's a great question. I'm glad you asked. So the answer is yes. Okay. So uh, on November 4th, we will bring the Avengers playset uh, out at retail. It will be Iron Man, Black Widow, the Avengers playset piece, and Thor will then begin to be sold as a single, uh, a single IGP figure that you okay. can pick up. So. For people that are not necessarily Marvel fans or more Disney fans, they can get into the Disney Infinity ecosystem using this Disney Infinity Toy Box Starter Pack. And then if they want to expand their playset experience right then and there with the Marvel playsets that we've announced, they're going to be able to pick up Avengers separately, of course Spider-Man will already be available separately as well as Guardians. Okay, great. Uh, the Pyramid Disc, are those sold separately as well since they are part of the Starter Packs? So initially, go ahead. Uh, I've been answering all those questions. No, you're totally good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so um, the way this works is that uh, initially the Toy Box game discs will be exclusive okay. to the two starter packs that they come into. However, um, just, uh, right around that same time frame, a holiday time frame, uh, we will be releasing the Toy Box game discs for Marvel and for Disney separately. Okay. Now, they will actually be sold in bundles of two. So you'll have the Assault on Asgard as well as Escape the Kiln toy box games sold as an individual package. And then uh, Stitch's Tropical Rescue and uh, Brave Forest Siege also sold as a separate package. Perfect.